Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Zelda Zone Zero. I should discuss renewing our business license with Belle. Today, we're going to do Kalida Story Quest. First things first, we're going to talk with Belle. Why is everyone really watching for you? I'm just going to do in front of and want to talk to you about. Oh, yeah, right now, mine. Awesome. Great mind things are like. Did you see the message from public security? In this day and age, they still make us go down there in person for something as simple as updating a license? Unbelievable. Let's go. Sure. Let's make it quick. The closest office is the Lumina Square precinct. Let's go. Do we get to see that very hot uh, officer? We can actually go inside the police station? What? Oh my god, we're actually inside. Do I get to see some familiar faces? I mean, probably. Okay, now we'll go up to the front desk. Actually, I need to explore a little bit about this place. Is there any chest around here? If there's any? Any chest? No? I guess not. Alright, front desk, here we go. Hello, um... Your name's Amy, really? Hello, what's the post in the boom branch? Don't forget to take a number line up. That said, I don't think there's anyone else lined up except for you. Good, Susan, how can I help you? Tell up, up the, about the business critical issue. Mm -hmm. So, you're a subscriber and you're here to update your business culture? And are you? I see. Please show me your citizen verification profile and I can take a look for, for you. After receiving the profile, the young female officer begins to wield the computer of Chodo with a certain flair. Found it. Now I do general quarters in the 6th street neighborhood. A commercial view rental and rental service store going to be in a random play? Stop by any time. I don't know. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, then let's get down to business. Here's a new declare for declaration for you. Just fill this out, answer the few questions about your question, and that's it. Unless you have any questions, should we get straight to it? Uh, ask about the test as we were with Pump Security. We mean all these heavy iron Pump Security officers. Do? Don't worry, they're just king out which work. Ah, uh, but there is one slight issue. Their work involves same more but the call person over, meaning your business critical might help be called extra data of the update. Alright, let's go. I won't take up any more of your time. Let's get started. Okay. Do I get to see? Oh. Do I play as her in the meantime? Special episode undercover INB. Oh. I may not. Do you one? There's a new report out. I actually may not be doing Colette's story because after all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Please continue, Captain Zhu Yuan. Yes, sir. The target of our operation is the Mountain Lions, a militant group that believes in brutality and is known for its involvement in violent crimes. Their <sighs> leader, Razor, has pulled together a fierce crew using his strength and wit. One of the new faces we should keep a close eye on is Jane. Oh, right. She's played a Did key role answer. in several criminal activities recently, rapidly rising through the ranks and the gang. These are the targets for this combat operation. We're planning to send a small elite squad for a surgical strike against their core forces, with the goal of crippling the Mountain Lion gang. Captain, I have a question. Go ahead. The Mountain Lions are strong because of their armed members, but even if they're dauntless criminals, at the end of the day, they're essentially just a bunch of bandits. Surely they can't outgun public security, right? Instead of just targeting their core forces, why not go a step further and take down their headquarters altogether? Well, because... We can't. At least not yet. You are correct, Officer Seth. They can call themselves the Mountain Lions, but in the eyes of the law, they're just alley cats with a bit more fluff. Nothing more. And certainly nothing to fear. The thing is, they're slippery. Slippery? That's right. These crooks manage to get away after every crime by entering a hollow and disappearing without a trace. A precinct has carried out several thorough raids, including systematic sweeps of the hollows they frequent. It's a real shame we couldn't find anything. Unless your report brings good news, Officer Ching Yi. Oh? Let me think. The report indicated that our intel officers managed to detain a member of the Mountain Lion Gang at an old construction site in a hollow. Now would be an ideal chance for a surprise strike. I see. Our precinct has invested significant time and resources in preparing for this operation. Captain Zhu Yen, you know what this means. Yes, sir. I do. You'll be leading this operation. 
Remember, we cannot afford any failures. Is that clear? Crystal clear, sir. Code name? Operation Hooked. Let's prepare for combat. Hi. I was uh, within the zone of Operation Hooked. Quickly block! Damn, Damn it! What bumps are you here? Uh, save the trouble and surrender. Oh. Set, attack formation. Roger. Out of my way. Nice. So we're doing. Oh, because we are. Uh, doing the change of base attack. We're pulling each other, press attack, pick up the continue attack, start with the attack. Pressing a base attack, then chain will automatically follow up with the fourth of attack. When chain attacks with a skill and deals electric damage, she will occasionally flash connection with void change. When the flash connection will move the to 75%, Chang Yi enters the flash connect state. While under the state, holding down basic attacks will activate base attacks. Exchange Moonlight Blossom. Continue holding the button to launch fire, continue to rush attack upon the angle of basic attacks, trigger a flashing move ahead of time. When basic attacks is exchanged, Moonlight like Blossom. Finishing move to the enemy applies adjustment to increase the target stun damage multiplier. Trigger finishing moves wipe before the cast is above the threat to tackle with trigger perfect dodges. Okay. Find some mountain lion goons up ahead. Let's cut them. Are we just doing this already? I guess we are. Oh my goodness! Is she gonna with him? Is she gonna get- Oh my god! He must be striking! Okay, so this guy is Seth, right? Yeah, Seth Rollins? Okay, shoot down. I don't know expecting like this to happen. I was kinda hoping to do like a one of those videotape story quests already, but I guess not yet. Mm -hmm. I guess I wait. Why are we stopping on the second floor? What? Looks like we need a key card to access the third floor. Let's find it. Ooh. Okay, but now. When Seth isn't have enough energy, press special attack to already the X E X E E X special attack. Dunder Steel Rush. High version to have because a series of a shashes ahead, doing massive electric damage while physically invisible and going to shoot and from resolve. Hold special attack to charge the skill to increase this power. When resolve is greater than 70 percent hold base attack to increase power resolve and activate base attack. Lightning strikes electrified. When Zed hits A end with a flashing move from base attack, lightning strike, electrified or with an assist follow up. First security will trigger a quick assist on the previous squad member and provide shield of firm resolve. For that squad member, a squad member with shield of the firm resolve has the level of increased. Oh, so if I'm being set, he's swinging, 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 and stop. Damn, gotta do that. Hey, focus! And go. Ooh, this is a this is kind of interesting. Elite gang members up ahead. All units, stay sharp. Interesting. I'll teach these youngsters a lesson. Yep, it's me. Watch your offset, let's see. Prepare to face judgment! That's interesting, I guess. Good thing. Alright. Go! Damn, boy. He's swinging, he's swinging, he's swinging, he's swinging. Damn! That was a lot of damage, Jesus, woman! You dead? Okay, go set! Now, yeah, let's go deal. Okay. Now, let's do this one. Okay. Officer! Captain, we didn't find the key card on them. Oh, fine. What do we have here? Let's defeat it and grab the data. Yeah, keep going. One more time. One more time. Damn, let's go, let's go. Okay, keep swinging at it. Almost done. Almost done. Ow, ow, ow. There you go. You're well played into this one. 
You're and set. Okay, set. Finish it up. Come on, he's dead. White and the cock. We're still going? Found it. Downloading access privileges now. Good work. I mean, Let's take the elevator. Okay. Guess we are doing it. My enemies. Ah. Captain, we got more gang members here. More gang members here? Kick uh, his ass, Seth. Talk over here. Uh, oh, hey, let me shoot. Hey, boy, damn. Nah. -uh. Double shot. Nah. -uh. Yeah. Seth got a shield. He's got company. Watch out for an ambush. Ready for the big showdown? Huh? Contact. Two o'clock. Up there. Oh my God! It's Jane. So she's the target we're after. Affirmative. We'll bring you to justice. <laughs> I see your alarm vibes with her. Oh really? We'll see about that. Her thoughts are whipped. Ooh. <laughs> we'll want her. You, can my you better watch it! Yeah. Oh, what a fighter! That's so very interesting. Okay, if we do other fishes way before, if we do the other class, I will do it. Watch your back. Oh my gosh, she's like overpowered! She's like too overpowered! Goodness, we are- We're going for the ass, mostly the hell? Okay. Oh. I'm a oh, 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 oh god, okay! It down. Goodness. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. Okay. You walk right into this one. Yeah, take that one. Turn over and you leave. Okay. Hands up. Yeah, what's your all? Here comes the first. Okay. Mad. Now she will take a lot of the. Oh my goodness. Oh. Now she doesn't even let me. She's like, hell no. Know. Yeah, she's crazy. Slash up. Go, go, go. There you go. Go, set. Set Mullins! Oh, Set for the Mullins! That should be last name. Cross the line and you get shot. Got it. Damn it! These officers are no joke! We need to get out of here! No! You're not going anywhere. What are you looking at? Ooh. Hey! You're really the best the mountain lions got! Why do you keep scurrying away like some rat? Where's your honor? Moshe <laughs> What the hell? Thanks for the trim. Hey! Your fighting style is way too boring. All you do is come at me. It's seriously putting me to sleep. Listen up, you scumbag. I'm gonna beat you fair and square. I don't believe in resorting to cheap tricks. <laughs> oh, really? That's too bad. Cheap tricks are what I'm good at. I told you not to wander off. Look at us now. We're completely lost. Oh, great. She ran away. I smell etheric matter. Be careful. They're after those guys. These people are only going to slow us down. Pubsec is on our tail. Don't make things difficult. Let's bail. Hold it! 
Who's there? Stay back! Let them go! They're not a part of this! Let them go, huh? Sure. If you take their place! Deal. He actually agreed? <laughs> no. Watch this. <laughs> See? Told you it work! It's clearing. Stay tight and keep alert. Captain Zhu Yuan, we found three civilians. They're all safe. The mountain lions are gone. They are slippery, just like Officer Byron said. Hold on. Where's Seth? He got a plan. I'm telling you, he's probably have a plan or something. Several hours later, inside the mini room at the Luminous School, put in a post security. Yes, we apprehended all the gang members at the scene, except for Jane. However, two citizens and Officer Seth have gone missing. There are reports that they were captured by the gang. Uh, understood. Our team is ready and awaiting further orders. <sighs> so, what's the plan? What happens to us now that we've failed the operation? Hmm. You're turning pale, so I guess this must be it then. I'll box up my desk and return my gear. Oh, is it okay if I take my welcome mug? Huh? Uh, hold on, Jingyi. It's not like that. We haven't failed yet. Poor Julian. You're in denial that you failed. The core gang members, including Jane, they all got away, remember? The operation was a flop. But hey, you tried your best. No, don't pat me. I, I'm fine. The operation wasn't a flop. I, I mean, not a total flop. We were at least half successful. <sighs> uh, I guess I should have filled you in right after the operation ended. You know how the mountain lions are really good at hiding, right? We can't root them out because they always manage to slip away in the hollows, making it hard for us to pin down their HQ. Right. They call themselves lions, but all they do is scamper around like rodents. From the looks of it, I think we should send them a rat to be their leader. Y right! That's exactly it, Jingyi! You've got it all figured out! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I might not have it all figured out, but I'll gladly take the compliments. Uh, well, actually, the rat idea you just mentioned? That was our plan all along. Maybe we should send them a rat to be their leader? Sun Yin picks up an ID card from the table and hands it to Shang Ying. A hard plastic ID card authorized by both security and has an ID for Jane when she owns an external staff concerning the criminal process of thing. Ooh, look at that. Huh? Jane Doe, contracted consultant for criminal behavior at public security. What? She's one of us? That's right. Jane's been working with us, and she's our inside agent for this operation. She's the rat we sent in. The real bait. The real purpose behind the whole operation was to put on a show, allowing Jane to gain enough trust to infiltrate the mountain lion's top ranks and learn the secrets of their HQ. That's a bold move. So in that sense, our operation was a success. And Seth, I thought he was too straightforward to play such cunning tricks. He really fooled me. I thought they had actually captured him. <laughs> <clears throat> huh? Not funny? What's with that look on your face? Remember when I said the operation was only half a success? Well, Seth, he's that other half. He and the civilians who were caught up in this, they were really captured by the mountain lions. Meanwhile, inside the bell to his hollow. <laughs> Sleeping on the job? Who do you think? Come on, open up! Huh? But boss said I can only open up if you get the secret knock right! I don't have all day! Is this your first day on the job or something? Huh? So, we're in Ballet Twins Hollow? That's right. First time here, Jane? Makes sense. This transfer station is one of the closest to our base, the Lion's Den. By the rules, we're not supposed to come here without the boss's approval. Y yeah! You... You need the boss's approval to be here! Oh yeah? And who do you think you are around here? Maybe I should be asking you that question. Huh? <sighs> boss! That's... Razor, the mountain lion himself. 
I made those rules. About the transfer station, the secret knock, all of them. The rules are made to be followed. So why did you break them? Oh, sir, I... Uh, we... We were ambushed by Pubsack. They were fast and precise. It all happened suddenly. Things got messy real quick. If we hadn't pulled out fast, some of us would have gotten busted. Oh? Yeah, yeah boss. We even snagged an officer as a bonus. <laughs> Look! Did you pull this off? Um, it... It was Jane. Boss, Jane came through for us again today. She stalled the officers with a smoke bomb, and we were able to get out of there safely. You bunch of despicable thugs! You have no honor! Ooh. It wasn't much of a fight. This idiot tried to play hero for some civilians. Like a mouse walking into a trap. Oh, it's Charles that got kicked. Good work, Jane. When the time's right, we'll see if there's a spot for you as a trusted bodyguard. Whoa. I set up! Those public security clowns are still after us. I'm gonna go find out what they're up to. Lay low here for now. I'll arrange to get you back to the den safely in groups. You got that? Crystal clear, sir! Along with the lions! Nah, I believe she's doing this on purpose. Just to, like, do the plan something, though. Oh, find me into the woman singing translation. This long time the empty sense land wasn't the whole They even managed to trick the old people to bring the wheel. The only wheel left on her is the officer Seth. Isn't that new with the criminal in 15? Does he even know all the ins and how the dog plan? Why were they brought here though? Had they changed to the new portal the I can't even say it. Just to be safe, listen to the let's fix the gauge and before we take another step further. Yeah, I know for a fact that she's doing this. Like for a week, cause she works with them. But all they said no. Um, certain functions might be disabled during special episodes. If need, you can leave any time. This like the post story in the top left. I was leaving it. You're clearly probably the same, but you won't be able to start your new special episode. What right, special episode is paused. You can act quickly. If needed, you can use the follow method to turn the special episode to continue. Create the mission target at the top left, press to you in the console mission on the analog schedule interface. Yeah, I'm actually gonna pause it there so that I could do something else first. I got one, two, three, and four story codes I gotta deal with before I continue with that one. First of all, Jake, why do you dress like that? The poking! First things first, collide our story quest. Emmy, the new transfer student's gonna be sitting next to you, right? Hey, she looks pretty cool, don't you think? Cool? I don't see it. Look, she's helping Molly clean the blackboard. She's so nice! So tall. She's even taller than my neighbor, and my neighbor's already eleven. <laughs> tall. I'm tall. <laughs> oh, I'll go like that. So why is she in elementary school? You know what I think? I think she didn't go into middle school, cause she's an idiot. You damn brats! Just you wait. Good morning, my dear human children. Human children. It's snack time. We've got pineapple buns today. Thank you, Miss Grace. Who the hell is that? Right, right. Uh, there's something else I need to tell you all. Oh no! There's no way. The the similarity. She used to wear glasses. I see what she has goggles now. We are having a field trip soon. We're going to Lumina Square, kids, and we're even doing a choir. So, are you all excited? This is funny. Oh, where's Mars? Is this type of Chloe and Grace dressed up as a student in purple? Is this some kind of prank show? Hold up, this means we'll play at the part of it. Where are the cameras? At the moment, there's something knock at the door. Bella, do you mind getting it? Oh my god, is this what I think it is? This is probably just... <gasps> the president of uh ZZZ. That school looks good on you. So this is your first reaction? You're pretty good at chatting. Yeah, judging by what you're acting, I'm getting you saw that goddamn video. Uh, I was just about to forward it to ten of my friends. You actually have ten friends? No way. Even one too many. Anyways, it's all Arthur's fault. He thinks Siki makes everything click and sends it out by permission. But if it helps you understand the mission a little better, then it's a good thing. I'll get straight to it. I want to hire you to keep helping you see the companion hall inside that school. Call invites Colin to the workshop and talk about the commission. 
Okay. So you and Grace infiltrated the school to investigate a hollow. I thought this was some sort of prank show. I never understood the point of those shows. Of course it's for official business. Okay, starting from the top. Hey, don't look bored already. I'll make it short. Bellabug took a job to renovate that elementary school. The one you saw in the video. When construction mm -hmm. was finished, I went to check the site and found that there was a new companion hollow nearby. The hollow is located in the abandoned parking lot just outside the construction area. It appeared recently, and if it's not contained, it might expand to the school. We've been talking with the school's principal. I told him it's best to report the hollow to the city administration so they could deal with it. Can you city mission not deal with it? And you're coming to us because the city can't deal with it, aren't you? Mm, it hasn't gotten that bad yet. From what I've seen of its size, if the association sent someone, they should be able to deal with it. But that's what's weird. The principal didn't report the hollow and didn't apply for hollow compensation either. He paid the rest of our fee the very next day. I've never seen a single client who doesn't drag their feet when it comes to payments. It's almost as if... It's almost like he wants Bellabog off his tail. Well, if we're going by normal industry practices, we'd have no reason to dig into this. After construction has been fully completed and inspections have been passed, Bellabog holds no responsibility for any future impact caused by Hollow. Even if the Hollow really did end up affecting the school, this clause can protect Bellabog from all consequences and responsibilities. However, if that really ends up happening, the students and the teachers of that school may find themselves in danger. Hmm. So really is, there really is a need for investigating. It seems there really is a need to look into this hollow. That's right, Wise. You hit the nail on the head, oh, as expected. Shit. For uh, certain reasons, Grace and I had to infiltrate the school in disguise to get access to the only entrance to the hollow. Anton helped us find some connections, and I left the oh, daily wait. operations to Ben. Uh, my responsibilities I've just been handling at night. Is that why he looks... Is that what I saw in the video? Anyway, we okay. finally found the opportunity we needed during the field trip to Lumina Square in a few days. All the students and teachers will leave the school and head to the square. Even if the hollow gets out of control, we can make sure as few people as possible are at risk. So, that's the situation. Belle, Weiss, I assume you're gonna take the commission? Of course, once she's done, Claude turns and leaves the field story. I mean, I believe we are, so let's talk to Belle about this. Seems like I'm a bit of a mind, but are you worried about her, Claude? Of course I'm fucking worried. Have the jogging campaign affair while doing all the sky out of the goodness of her heart. And she's obsessed with doing it to perfection. It sure ain't easy being Clyda. Ah, it's late. What's up? She said that she has once it's time to move. Yeah, you was complete and now your mind feels explicitly clear. Ugh, who's that the president? Do you remember the question from last night? It's like the music school hollow. You're good. Today's president has to the music school. Get the key and enter the hollow. Ask me like this when you're here. I'll wait for the little mask Got it, President! Oh my god, you found Grace here too! <gasps> okay, Ekla, you guys talk. Wise, you're here! How's Eos doing? Is your sister taking good care of that little cutie? I got my hands on some amazing lubricant from the outer ring. If you put some into the bamboo's base, it can drip out of the eyes! How about Eos give it a go? Hey, aren't you a teacher right now? Did you leave your character along with that dress at home? Oh my, I almost forgot. So, little Kaleida, how about you call me Teach and help me get back into character? Oh, oh boy. Miss Grace, there's three students hiding because they had a fight. <laughs> if we don't find what them, is this? we can't do the choir. Oh my god. Well, that just won't do. Unfortunately, Miss Grace still has what some stuff to take care of, all right? So can Kaleda go and find them with this pro- uh, with this young man? If you manage to find them, then as a reward, Ms. Grace will give you the hammer she forged at a university internship. What? What? Uh, shouldn't exactly. A, a star sticker or snacks or something? You gotta say that, Grace! Not a weapon! I want a hammer. Ms. <laughs> Grace. Can I have the hammer? <laughs> so long as you find those three kids, oh god, to come back to they debunk the those holy fucks. The only entrance to the hollow is in the abandoned parking lot near the school. We've already confirmed that the keys to the parking lot are with the principal. Usually, we wouldn't get a chance to get near him, but today, the principal will come to see the choir. While his attention is on the performance, we can figure out a way to steal his keys. So, the only way to obtain the keys is to ensure the choir goes ahead with no issues. 
That's why we need to deal with those three little ones who had an argument. Can I leave this to you? I suppose we have to. I suppose we have to. I'll wait for the good news then. Little Kaleida. Ms. Grace is appointing you as the leader of your little team. Who the hell wants to be the leader of a team with just one member? Um, I would you. I mean, Lisa and Dan, the three are will control and won't sink in the joy. Oh, Jesus, while speaking. I mean, yeah, call the president. They're normally joined today here, but they find today. Children are nothing but tr fucking trouble. I have stacks of paperwork on the decks about company purchases, but now I have to hang around and deal with people pen up with buns. That's why it isn't good to fit for me. Oh, uh, Penelope Buns will leave that nice. Day in and day out, Penelope's burned and I don't need to puzzle a bit. I didn't mean to sound so disgusting, but it's just how it is. Even if I speak in a high-pitched voice, to go to the bathroom in groups, swan speakers, pass notes, slack off a gym class, and mess around doing joint practice. I don't want to go to the bathroom alone. Really, I want to drop into the holiday hand with the ATL then just to go to school bathroom again and listen to all those gops about boy. Am I coming too much? Come on, so I have guys eating. I'll talk about right now to find those three students. Come with me, let's see if the class gops and knows. Okay, president. I'm gonna go. Oh boy. Oh my god, look, they're so small. <laughs> small hide. Okay. They're all annoying. Ugh. <laughs> It's Kalida, the mischievous chain student. I'm dying to bunch to her while she's one with a piece of toss in her fucking mouth. Uh, Claire, you're so popular. Come in, it's time for Golden Ball for breakfast. Oh, so you're big and tall because you eat Golden guys. Also, eat them tomorrow then. And I'm already over Kalida. I thought Emily, Lisa, and Dad were swearing about something. What's what you have? I am. I'm for the comfort of breakfast, but I still know what happened around here. See, like Dad and Lisa are mad at me. I didn't spoke to Dan and Lisa and they both said they were gonna hide so and not meet up with Emily. Hide! Why did they plan on hiding? I'm not sure, but I think I said it's the grown up favorite spot. I'm afraid all those knows where the favorite place is. Huh? Really? Foxy, you what do you say? The first of all, wish you could I have so over here, right? Uh let's speak. Coffee cup? That's what I was thinking too. We should be one saying coffee full gone up. I guess you could never look at seeing gone up before she has a morning coffee. She won't notice if packing her up and set off the high about. But it's those two places. There doesn't seem to be anyone nearby that counts as gone for favorite spots. Okay, let's go take a look at the coffee cup and all do the message. Okay. So we got two spots to look around. Okay, let's start with over here. Key holder. Uh, I'm gonna be so annoying. Ah! Lisa! Dad, are you here? I saw the A1, but to tell you the truth, right now, I can see what an important person problem. If I don't think I do, do now, I'm gonna have to numbers break down 30 years from now. If you can help, I'll tell you what you know. Need to know, what do you say? Okay, what's the problem? Oh wait, I even wonder why there's never any problem. Is that a problem with one? That is, that's, how is that gonna show the numbers break down? Uh. Uh, eyes always has pineapple in it. Yours doesn't. Your pineapple actually has no pineapple in it. Mostly does right here. I see. So we uncles are sense of visible, visible, visible one voice with external questions. As long as you believe you're eating pineapple, the problem exists. As long as you believe in the external of time being, then you are blessed. That's a point for survival. Thank you, Kalida. You should give me much food for tonight. Don't say that, my brain's feel scrambled. I really hate eating at home, so oh. I thought about going all the panel behind the papaya food. Luckily, you're warning me again the problem of such a lifestyle. From now on, I'll go to my best not to picky eater. So, the problem was the picky eater? Oh yeah, listen to Dad, we're going over to the parking lot. I think, go over and take a look. Hey, parking lot, why would someone think a parking would be a good favorite spot? But it does look like they went to the parking lot, so let's go take a look. I guess, oh god, yeah, these boys are gonna be so dry the more I speak, actually. So, there is isn't a parking spot that sits? Call this a parking spot? Doing a police station for some reason? Uh, okay. <laughs> I never felt the taxi, though, just the I may be. The sea boat, my fish friend, take me to the water park and. Lasha, quite singing, yeah, yeah. Emily says to the friend, who's the boss singing? I don't feel the taxi, do I understand? The fish might be. The cell is my best friend. 
Don't you know? That could be the water park end. <laughs> Lisa. But I really do like the song. Then the shame and this stuff vision right in the world. And enemies are complaining that this awesome is so dumb as hell. Why wouldn't the music? This is our Sean. The three of us choir is together. I remember how Glenn was chosen from the class performance. Coys I remember. Us three have always been close. So why didn't she tell us about something as important as transferring to another school? Amy said so herself. Her dad suddenly want to pull her from school. What is going on? Still, she told us. We were the only one. We were exploring in the home before, didn't we? We didn't even that. Uh, him? The uh, him? Is that Kalada that you were saying just now? Father, great timing. Doesn't need energy help with? I never changed the way, but she didn't tell Dad or me about it, and we're not about it. But today, it's the girl who's about to see our son, and we want her to be there. Speaking for themselves, I'm still mad at her. Don't be angry. Next month, Emily won't be around anymore. She shouldn't be spending time with her before she leaves then. I can go and give Emily a message, but where is she right now? Emily, I think she was out there and had a sensual so. So she probably gone to the conversation store. She's a bit of a clean fucking freak. Oh, he's speaking. She's a bit of a clean fucking freak. Hmm, Noble Lisa and me will carry a spell one for her. But now, there's no way we'll be doing that. We're never going to look out for her even again. So you notice details, like way over here says, says uh, how do you say that last word that I was trying to say. She's staying on the, on the other side apparently. Alright, Emily. Question, what's been the amount of time needs to clean your hands using this 30 seconds? You won't be able to kill the giants with your hands unless you scale for at least 30 seconds. It's very the giant other people as good as possible. I hate people who are not responsible. So, can you tell please clean your hands before touching me? Yeah, HUH?! Touching you? What do you mean? I'm just trying to talk to you! Burn his hands says that and clean your hands for 30 seconds. Oh my god! Good, Clyda. What did you mean before? Hey, tie this, I could say... Dan and Lisa are looking for you. Your friend Lash and Dan want me to tell you that you want to sing at you. And all who thinks the control is stupid? Deep Black Oil is ain't a fraud of you, even though I'm just a teen fish, it's true. I never sing little as the quench that for it hurts the world. Wow. What does the cell of my best friend mean? How can we marry creatures but the cell partners? How do you know this is not fishing vessels? Take me to the water park and the only place for the fish in the water park is a barbecue? The only ones who write those, those two barkers, Lisa and Dan. Hey, are they still mad at me? Dennis? Dennis is still mad. For kids like you, I mean, us, a friend's training school is like the most wholesale couple of tech lovers. It would be weird for not to wish badly. Yeah, I don't know anyone who values friendship more than Dan, I suppose. I suppose it's nothing more than be mad about my transfer away, but it's my fault for not telling them so sooner. I've been thinking about other stuff lately and must have ignored the things without realizing. I apologize to them when we get back. I want to explain something to you clearly, Kalida. It's me who wants to apologize. I apologize because I am care about friends, not because you're pretending to be a grown-up. No, I'm going to ask Grace. Was I ungrateful as a child? Oh, wait. Oh my god, I can't even put you on speaking as anyway. Hello, Grace. So, what now? You're back. Talk to you, guys. I'll leave up the Indies to get the Kalida wipe up. But it's safe and sound. Hey, wait a minute! Don't we agree that I'm a team leader? I'll, 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 let's give another talk to our leader, Claudia. Let's give another kiss together. Just touching. Mr. Boo is almost here. You deal with him before, remember? the time every time. And don't let the person see you. You don't need to remind me. Just make sure there's no one slipping when I send this little ski, sis. Just call me sis or miss. Oh, shut the fuck up! Come on, it's cute. Dan, Lisa, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Your fault? Anybody? It's not like you need stupid friends like us. Once you're at that rich kid's school, you can probably get better friends. Come on now. If you're afraid of Emmy getting taken away by new friends, you should transfer with her. It's not that simple. Wait, no! Then we'll be leaving you all alone. I don't want that. That wouldn't be okay? It's not okay. Hey, calm down. Lisha was just joking. Even if I transfer, we'll still be BFFs. Just like the fish in the boat. Even though the boat went to the water park, it was still the fish's best friend, right? Wait, didn't you say you thought those lyrics were stupid? Uh, they are. Uh, but not as stupid as me. I was so stupid that I didn't tell you about something as important as transferring schools, because I was so scared I'd make you too mad. Hemi, you aren't stupid. You're the coolest kid I know. I love being your friend. Hmm, well... Even though 
though the new transfer student Kalita is pretty cool. I like Dan and Emmy the most. Ugh, don't bring up that imposter. Ooh, is Emmy jealous? Uh, uh, hey, um, Miss Grace says we need to get to the choir. Uh-oh, it looks like she heard you. Uh, nope, I didn't hear anything. I wouldn't care even if I did. I have more important things to worry about than my popularity on some little kid. Oh, f the principal. I'm gonna hey! for now, Proxy. We could chat okay. over to the choir and check on things in a bit. She cost! Kaleida hides. Uh-oh, looks like we're hiding. What? Why though? Oh, that's the principal. Okay. Wait, he's a man. Thanks to you all, the choir is back to business. Now for the key. The principal sure is immersed in the singing. I just checked. He put his keys in his pocket. Now we just need to carefully approach him. Give me a signal for when I should strike. Look what you gonna shock his dick. Ah, not bad. Oh wow. What wow. Hmm, beautiful singing. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, now, Grace. Here goes. <gasps> he bent down to kick some dust off his shoes. Boy, seven 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 seven. It's not like he's heading into a lab. Good, very good. Mm. Everyone is in sync. No, really longer. Not yet. Wait, just a little longer. Wait again? The song is almost yeah. over. <sighs> Fine. I'll wait for your signal. What's with these lyrics? Now, Grace. Okay. Like now. All right. Got it. Huh? Miss Grace? Well, why are you so close? You weren't this outgoing during the interview. Uh, I... Well... It's like, your dick size is very interesting! <laughs> I prefer I sorry. Mr. Principal. Oh, Emmy, good job just now. Thank you. Um, you know your clothes are dirty? Okay. They're covered in dust. I think Miss Grace just wanted to help you dust them off. Hmm? Dust? Oh, this dust. I, um, accidentally got it on me. Uh, yes, it's it's chalk. I accidentally got chalk on me. Yeah, knuckle king. As a principal, it's normal for there to be chalk on my clothes. It would be stranger if there wasn't any chalk. Um, uh, on the other hand, Miss Grace, your outfit is strange. As a teacher and, and a model to your students, what do you oh, have to okay. say for yourself? Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Guess I won't wear it again. <clears throat> <clears throat> Although your outfit lacks sophistication, as a new teacher, this field trip of yours was quite a success. We must view these things in separation. Nothing is just black or white. Most of us are shades of gray. All right, I have other things to do now. Miss Grace, <gasps> I shall leave the children to you. Please bring them back to school safely. <laughs> Doesn't seem about this will be some quality, but oh this my guy's God. like a broken water Probably pump with all the meaningless noise. So badly, Wise, I've given the key to Kaleda. She's headed I'll off to get Anton and Ben mess. for the next part of the plan. You should head back and prepare. She'll be in contact soon. Oh, nice. Hi, Bell. I'm home, my sister. Grace to see it. Never wait for Claire to contact us. Why? Let's get some rest. Want some carrot chips? Uh, uh, joy. I would do more, but I'm gonna stop the continue this next episode. Oh, I'm gonna avail. My subscribe. I'll see you later. Sayonara.